Thanks for joining us on our adventure, but before we get started, please subscribe. And remember to hit the bell for notifications. Bye. So this is downtown Wichita where the two rivers meet right over here. And you might be able to hear the flute in the background from the, the Indian heritage here. Right over a bridge. There's the top of it. <laughs> Coming back down, 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 down. There's the river again. There's the Indian up there playing the uh, flute or whatever. We'll get closer so we can hear it. That's pretty neat here. So here's a closer shot of the guy up there playing. I'll walk over there to the other bridge. And so we're from Spokane, Washington. We always thought our rivers had kind of a neat thing. Well, this thing kind of blows our waters out. So here's where the two rivers combine and go on down. It's called Arkansas, Little Arkansas and Big Arkansas. But it goes down pretty good. The only big difference from the rivers up north in Washington where we're at, they're all crystal clear. And here, I guess they don't have all the rocks to go through. They got kind of mud or dirt or whatever. So they're a little bit off colored. There's the big Indian guy up there, he's probably, I don't know, 30 foot tall. Got his bonnet. You can maybe hear some music over the geese over here. But there's quite a few of them out there having a good time. They kind of pedestaled up on some of these rocks. That'd be neat if people came and say, hey buddy, want to hire them, make one of these Indians. Which is sure. If you look at this, they placed these big rocks going around this thing. So they had a big massive crane out here somewhere. I'll go down there and look what the metal things are. This was the Plains Indians, they called it. Pretty nice thing here. It goes over to, I guess, it says the warriors with their axes and bow and arrows and stuff. So, it's got all the, the memories of it here. Several different tribes, a lot of Cherokee, Cherokee, Shoni, Blackfoot. Some of them I can't even read it, so you're on your own. It's kind of neat, the buffalo there. We'll go over here and look at the other one. So here's another one here, Dream Animals. So Peace pipe, the chief, the title of honor, ways of the horse. Well, something I've noticed down here in the south, they're real big on their Indian heritage and the veterans. Uh, just some of the memorials for the veterans have been unreal. There's the other bridge. Look at it. And here's what they call the circle of life. So if you look up at it, whichever way you want to call it, water, fire, earth, and air. So really, those things right there is all you need to live. So this virus thing that's coming up, we've been in the sticks for five months, so 
don't know a lot about it. But if you've got those things right there, plus that third one in the middle, you'd be fine. Up there, but the door was locked. <laughs> they got him built up on this big rock here. Might be a original rock. So this is all about the keeper of the planes. You can read it for you, and that way you don't screw it up. Two rivers meet, the symbol is coming together for the Indian culture. Uh, see, I think that rock there was original. Well, not the big guy up top, so that's kind of neat. The old geese are still standing there. And what can I take these big steel? You know, the way that is, there's a gas spitter and mechanical in the life kind of, and that looks like, those puppies probably light up at certain places in the air, which would be pretty cool over here. There's downtown down there, and you know why the, he's dead on one leg. You could look it up or what they call it, Google. Tell me why a geese stands on one leg. They stand on one leg because they stood on two legs and got tired. So they prefer to hold one up. Stand on the other one for a while. And that one gets tired, that's quick. Google might not tell you that, but that's the truth. Let it in on Google or wherever you see it. May not be the truth, anyhow. Yeah. Let's go ask one of these geese. <laughs> He's scratching his back with his other leg. Oh, that could be part of it, too. They got one square leg to scratch with. <laughs> well, they look pretty happy, so I'm not going to go to the them. But there's the river coming through. We got one standing out there someplace. But I'm sure the way these things look dark in here and stuff, that it is it up. We're in the fire. We boondocked at Cheney Wildlife Area in Pretty Prairie, Kansas. This is a nice fishing access cove with several campsites and very nice grassy areas. Well, time's getting short, and we gotta go, so we'll catch you on the next one. Bye! Oh, in case you forgot, remember to subscribe. See you later, bye!